I didn't see you there. You know, as we all know, the most triumphant movie of the 1980s was Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. But not everybody knows that the majority of that film was filmed right here in the Phoenix Valley. So what we're doing today is we're going around to the locations of that film shooting and we're going to get it in. We're going to see what's going on. Special shout outs to John Eberly, the smartest man in Florida, for letting us know that one of these locations will be shutting its doors permanently in just a few days. So let's check it out. Let's go around. We're going to see Bill and Ted where they had their excellent adventure. And here we are at Chuck E. Cheese in the film better known as Ziggy's where Napoleon pigs out and learns the ways of ice cream. Uh, I think in the film it actually calls for it to be a barrels, but uh, they didn't have a barrels for shooting, so they went to the local uh, showbiz pizza. Now Chuck E. Cheese is the name of this children's casino. One other item of note, the two screenwriters of Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure appear as the servers serving Napoleon his Ziggy Piggy Sunday. You have ice cream on your nose. You have ice cream everywhere now. <laughs> We're here in the final days of Metro Center Mall. This location, 1988, is where Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure had their final hijinks running around, chasing, avoiding the cops. Sigmund Freud's going this way. Genghis Khan is destroying a sports store that way. A lot of craziness. But we're here in the dying days of the malls. A common theme around the nation these days. You can see uh, there's lots of closed stores behind me. Not too many people here today. Not too much left of this place. But this is it. Metro Center Mall. This is the home of Bill S. Preston Esquire. You can see behind me the garage studio where they had their band Wild Stallions. This location bookends the film. They start here and then they end here. So this really encapsulates the, the journey of our heroes as they go on to their travel through time and create the music that we all know and love throughout the ages. This is the home of Ted Theodore Logan. Uh, not too many shots here, mostly just exit and leaving. There are shots in the interior of Ted's dad looking for his keys, that sort of thing. Uh, this is where Ted gets threatened with the Alaskan Military Academy. The home of Ted Theodore Logan. San Dimas High School football rules. Well, sort of. This is Coronado High School. This is where all the exterior shots were filmed. The interior shots were filmed at a different high school that no longer exists. So the auditorium and the classroom scenes were filmed there. But here you have the scenes of where they were walking out of the school, getting picked up by Missy, I mean mom. And so uh, Bill and Ted would have probably walked right out of this door over here, come down over this way and get picked up. So this is Coronado High School or San Dimas High School. It's Waterloo, home of the most excellent water slides, also known as Golfland Sunsplash. This is where Napoleon got his first taste of modern American entertainment. Uh, wild hijinks ensued, of course. Uh, these days, it's uh, primarily see most activity in the summertime. It's always hot in Phoenix. Any time really is a good time for a Golfland Sun Splash or Waterloo. Uh, the water slides back there are original. Original meaning used in the film in 1988 during filming. You can also see the Hello, castle design appears in the film the in the background. The so there we have it. Only one Waterloo. Is allowed to ride in each car. bowling alley here at Tempe Village Lanes. Napoleon goes in, doesn't pay, gets kicked out. Beat it, buddy. This is where he takes off and finds his way over to Waterloo for the water slides. But first he stops here.
Well, it's the last stop on our tour and probably the most famous one. Here's the Circle K. This is where all the action kicks off. Phone booth comes down, Rufus steps out and says, hey, you're going back in time. So uh, it, it's just a Circle K, you know, nothing too special about it. Get your Polar Pop, get whatever you need. Uh, but there's one, one thing about this is you can ask people, hang on a second. Hey, excuse me. You know when the Mongols ruled China? It's got a weird look. But hey, that's it. Circle K, Bill and Ted tour is in the can. Wouldn't do this for a long time. Glad we got a chance to be excellent to each other.